Time stamped on this is 1013. That's about when Michigan was claiming the national championship. <laughs> Quinshaw Judkins commits online. I'm extremely excited to join the Ohio State football program, capital letters, the, the Ohio State football program. Looking forward to being a part of a winning culture and helping do my part to beat the T-U-N, the university up north. Is that what it the, is? The, the up north. He city? left out. It's supposed it's supposed to be the national champion. I, th- I thought it was the school up yeah, north. It's supposed the to be T-S-U-N. T-S-U-N. Yeah. Yeah. And bring a Big Ten championship and a national championship to Columbus, blah, 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 blah. So Quinchon Judkins to Ohio State. I didn't have Ohio State in my bingo card. I think I mentioned it briefly. For yeah, some reason, yeah, last no, we, week we we talked about it yesterday a little yeah, bit. But, but, yeah, but 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 even last week and yesterday, we talked about how your probably best case scenario was splitting carries with Travion Henderson and but not being the feature back. I've got a feeling now Travion's going to head to the NFL. You think so? Yeah, because he's he's yet to declare one way or the other, and I would assume there's probably been a conversation. More than likely, Travion's not going to be here. You are going to be our guy, even if Travion stayed. I mean, look, there's enough carries. I mean, we've seen Ohio State do this for years. But this is... What do you think of Quinshawn at Ohio State? Look, you know, we've heard things, and it's unfair for me to say because I really don't know, but we've heard there's some character issues, and in the locker room might not be the best guy. But if you can get those things straight, I mean, talent-wise, 31 touchdowns over the last two years, I mean, he's been incredible. Good system. Um, You know, I mean, that's player. offensive players generally succeed in that system. Under Ryan Day, they've got a good offense normally this year. Maybe they were a little less than what they have been. I think it's a good spot for him. I mean, again, I don't know a coach you're going to find that's more dedicated to the run than Lane Kiffin. So by leaving Ole Miss, you're like, I am going to go to an offense that's probably not going to feature me as much as Ole Miss was No, but Day, they 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 do run it a lot. That's what I was going to say. Day is pretty close. Yeah, and they've gotten really active in the portal. Um, I mean, you think about Will Howard, now Quinchon Judkins. And they just said they weren't playing pay, or paying players, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, what do you so think Quinshawn One of their calls? players said that. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if that's true. I, but, okay, if, I'm, if I am uh, USC, Oregon, Washington, uh, if I'm Michigan or anybody else in the Big Ten, Penn State, that I think it can be contenders, whoever you think is a contender in the Big Ten, then you look next year. I look at Ohio State and I say, all right, so your quarterback's from Kansas State and your feature running back's from Ole Miss. But it seems like it's a step down from what Ohio State usually is. I, but those are proven commodities. I mean, to me, those are, if you reclassify both of those guys, Will Howard's probably a four-star. Quinchon, I don't know if he's a five-star, but it's close. Yeah. I mean, if you do they have five-star running backs anymore? Well, they, they, if they did, Ohio State's used to getting them. Yeah, I'm just, I see what you're saying. And you lose Julian Fleming, one time number one wide receiver recruit to Penn State, which means you probably have more great wide receivers there. But but I think the quarterback they want is Cam Ward. And that guy came from Incarnate Word. I mean, so, you know, some of these guys develop. They're not the same player they were in high school. I mean, J.J. Watt was a one star coming out. I will yeah. say this uh, or a no star. 100 fewer carries Ohio State this year versus Ole Miss. 100. That's a significant amount of. I mean, what, seven, eight carries a game? 100 total <laughs> carries, though. I mean, seven, eight carries a game. That's seven, a lot. Seven, eight carries a game. Well, a I mean, lot. that's yeah. going to happen when you got Marvin Harrison Jr., right? Yeah. I, I know, but I'm just saying, I, I, my point remains you're very rarely going to find a coach more dedicated to the run than Lane Kiffin. And, but maybe and Judkins you is walking away from that. Don't want to carry it 25, 30 times a game. Well, maybe you don't. Well, I was about to bring up that it could be a very much a business decision that one year I'll take a little money, I'll go to Ohio State, maybe play in playoffs, and then I go to the NFL with a fewer or less carries than if I stay where I am. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty good plan because, yeah, less wear and tear – You've got a chance to win a championship. I know Ole Miss, and I saw the uh, the odds that came out last night. They're in the mix. But I feel much better about Ryan Day and Ohio State winning a championship than Lane Kiffin. And the exposure is going to be more, too.